Get a couple of thylakoids stacked into other grams because it's only chloroplast on their tandem. Photosystems and ATP synthase provide dependent reactions. They all have specific actions that let the plant get its energy because it's necessary like a crack fix. Sunlight gives an electron energy in the pigment array. The different transport chain tries to take it away. Boron and hydrogen, as in hydrogen and oxygen. H2O, the stuff your fish lives in. H2O changes the oxygen into hydrogen. Take the extra electron, pair it with an NAD+, and here you get NADPH. So long as you got energy and some CO2, or will do the Calvin cycle and make some glucose for food. In the Calvin cycle, three RUVP and three CO2 use the TGA. So it takes the energy, six ATP and six NADPH, and both six P3P. Take one away, save it for later. Take the five you got and turn them into three ribulose biphosphate. Yeah, the cycle never ends. If you got CO2, it'll happen time and time again. It's a light independent reaction. Phosphorylation makes the osmotic production of the ATP. Phosphorylation makes no ATP. It's way full like CO2 to you and me, but not to plants you see. Photosynthesis uses it to make what they need, and they break it down and take chemical energy.